ELI 5. Why is it so impossible to get accepted into medical school when there is such an insane shortage of family doctors? For context, I live in Canada. This may be a question specific to Canada slash US. Getting accepted into medical school in Canada with just a bachelor's degree and a decent MCAT score is near impossible. I know many people who have pursued graduate training, e.g., MSc Epidemiology, MPH, MHA, in hopes of improving their chances of being accepted to medical school but sometimes that is still not enough. Meanwhile, a huge proportion of the Canadian population is without a family doctor. Endless waitlists and overcrowding of walk-in clinics and ERs. I understand that medical schools can only accept as many students as they have faculty slash facilities to provide adequate training, but I am just not understanding how it's this difficult when there is such a need for MDs. I'm a surgeon in the US. I'll offer a long answer but the TLDR ELI 5 is at the end. It's hard to get into medical school because everyone wants to be a doctor for the prestige slash high pay slash job security, but the reality is there are only so many spots and you only want the most qualified people becoming physicians as we are ultimately in charge of people's lives and health. To your point about a physician shortage, med school isn't the bottleneck. In fact, new schools have been opening nationwide and old institutions have been expanding their class sizes significantly over the past 10 years. Residency is the bottleneck. Each hospital that meets the myriad rigorous requirements by the ACGME to establish a residency program gets a fixed number of spots to train new doctors. These spots are funded by Medicare slash Medicaid and have not been expanded since 1997 since that would require changes to Medicare slash Medicaid as a whole and that is a political dead end in this climate. Family medicine is not a well compensated specialty. The upside is you get long term relationships with your patients some might see this as a downside tbh and establish preventive care while wielding a fairly wide pool of medical knowledge the reality is that after eight years of education and training you end up with a job making less than 200k dealing with entitled and belligerent patients who won't take responsibility for their own health encroachment by less qualified medical practitioners who do two years of school and make the same as you deal with admin asking you to see slash counsel slash document on a new patient every eight minutes and are often working extra uncompensated hours at home to make it all work while sacrificing time with family and friends. So the Yelai 5? Med school is hard because demand is high and supply is low, on top of the fact not everyone is qualified. We don't have enough doctors because Congress won't approve spots to train new ones and many of us would only do family medicine as a last resort anyway.